Hey guys, my name is Euphoria, and today I'm going to be going over basic team strategy in the game of Halo Reach. So off the break, we actually send three guys to the left, and as you can see, one of them has shield lock, so he can absorb a lot of the enemy sweet spotting. So while all the bad guys are focusing on that left side, I can easily flank to the right and uh, relieve some of that pressure that's being put on my teammates. Now the problem with spawning in that bottom base is that your team has a huge disadvantage. And in this case, while she was able to trot his way over and pick up that gay gun in the top mid bridge before we even had a chance to think about it. So that completely ruins any chance of us getting to the snipe rifle. But we still might have a small chance of winning if I can at least make it to the shotgun before they do. But it turns out, Killen beat me to the shotgun. So now, things are looking pretty grim. But Waldo just might be able to sneak up behind Walshy. And you know what, Killen? I think I'll take that shotgun. Thanks! So Waldo completely catches Walshy off guard, breaks his neck, and steals the gay gun from him. Now, I don't know if we managed to actually get the sniper, but at least we recovered two out of three power weapons. The shotgun and the gay gun. By the way, the reason it's called the gay gun is because it doesn't actually take any skill. Like one time I literally closed my eyes and uh, got an overkill with it. Anyway, so we're finally done getting situated off the break, and we actually managed to get top control. And it looks like Victory X is trying to snipe us, maybe soften up our defenses a little bit, stage an attack or something. And sure enough, both Ogre 1 and Killing come up different lifts at the same time. But it doesn't seem to work out too well for him. Even though that was basically just two 50-50s right there, having top control did give us the upper hand and increased our chances of winning both of them. And it looks like Walshy decides to join the party late and gets dominated by two of us in top red. I guess they figured uh, that by sending one guy up each lift at the same time that at least one of them would succeed. What they should have done instead was send two guys up one lift first and then have the third guy delay up the second lift after that so that even if the first two guys died, the third guy could take advantage of that big distraction. So right here I just managed to catch Ogre 1 off guard and even though I did create an opening, there's no point in inserting because it would just put our top control at risk. Now right here it looks like Walsy's just probing to see if he can find a weakness. And uh, Ogre 1 tries to come up the lift to take advantage of Walsy's distraction, but it just wasn't big enough. So me and Tech 9, we decide to counter strike by inserting on this guy down in P1. We got a little carried away chasing him and completely forgot about the sniper. So in this case, I decided to cut our losses and leave Tech 9 on his own so that we don't give up our top control. But apparently, I didn't do a very good job of it because as you're about to see, we completely left one whole side of the map wide open. This allowed Killen to get a foothold in on the server room, as you can see. The reason that's bad is because not only can he now come around behind us at top gold, but he can also spawn his teammates there. So, with that mistake, it's now only a matter of time before we completely collapse. And sure enough, there's a red X in top gold. And here I go, charging again like a crazy kid, trying to gain a foothold for my team. And even though I get gunned down, it turned out to be a pretty big distraction, allowing Tech 9 and Waldo to exploit a gap on the other side of the map, right off their spawn. And that decision turns out to be a very good one, because they catch Killen all alone with his pants down in top red. Tech 9 is now in the perfect position to fill our team's left flank role as uh, the other three of us try to break through on the right. Now, if those two guys on the high bridge were smart, they would actually double team Tech 9 and exploit our weak side. But fortunately for us, one of them isn't even paying attention and he completely leaves Victory X out to dry. And Tech 9 does an excellent job of transitioning into gold with us to uh, help pinch off what's left of their team. So before, Red was our home, but now Gold is our home, and with support from Tech 9, Waldo immediately inserts into a gap on the right, and is able to, able to destroy Victory X all alone in top red. Meanwhile, Knight is left flank and respected bias and doing his job perfectly. He's able to wrap inwards and keep literally their whole team contained inside that lobby. Right after that, me and Tech 9 get a little impatient and decide to charge what looks like their weak side. Unfortunately, as you can see, it turned out to be their strong side instead. So we just get demolished. Luckily though, we get a good spawn and basically trade kill for kill with two of them. But the problem with making little mistakes like that is that even though it didn't affect the score at all, our little escapade completely jeopardized our team's top control. But I redeem myself by helping out our number one asset. And right when he lands, Knight just completely destroys him. 
So after seeing that, it was definitely time to punish him. So I decide to counterattack up the lift with support from both of my teammates. And it works out pretty well, but uh, right then they decide to put pressure on our weak side. Luckily though, Waldo is doing his job as the left flank guy in respect to bias, and we just barely miss the team shot on him. Then while she decides to stage a counterattack without proper support, so we just, uh, you know, put him in his place. <clears throat> wow. How'd I miss that? Okay, so now that things have settled down a little bit, we're right back to where we started, but a few kills richer. Top red is our home, and we're facing towards their setup at top gold. Now, right here, it, look, it almost looks like Waldo's getting bored of his job, and he, he decided to go shoot some kids on the other side. And by the time he returned to fill the left flank role, Victory X was already in the process of exploiting that gap and actually punished him for leaving the left side open. But luckily, he redeems himself, and off the spawn, he goes up the lift and takes advantage of Tech 9s distraction. <clears throat> now, as a team, we really dodged a bullet right here. But after struggling to keep that small foothold that we have, uh, we eventually expanded it into a complete control of top gold. So now that we have a home again, it's like we're back on our feet and can start throwing punches. So I start probing for a weakness in their setup. But as you can see, having three guys on the right, that is clearly their strong side. So it would be smart for us to uh, hit the left instead with support from Waldo. But that doesn't seem to stop Tech 9 and Knight from headbutting them on the right side. Together, like crazy kids on meth. Luckily though, I'm there to clean up their little mess and uh, we walk away from that crazy 50-50 engagement with a 3-2 gain. But uh, then, instead of cutting their losses, Walshy decides to bring me a little present. I don't know, maybe he just wanted to no-scope me or something. Either way, I now have control of two different power weapons. So as you can see, if he just would have waited a little longer, Killin and Ogre One would have been there to you know, help him out, and this lengthy battle would have turned out very differently. Now, right here, Ogre One is just containing us down that hallway, but eventually he's going to need to give up that real estate because there's only one of him and there's two of us. But he actually made the right decision by holding out. Unfortunately, his teammates chose not to regain top gold control in order to hit us from behind. Um, in fact, now they're not even trying to set up at all. Like, even though top gold is all free available real estate, they're just mindlessly charging us without any support. And yeah, this is exactly what happens when you run your team through the meat grinder. I mean, the last 30 seconds was really the moment they needed somebody to step up and lead their team. But uh, I guess they maybe they thought it was hopeless and just basically gave up. Once again, through the meat grinder. As you can see, Walshy decides to charge literally four of us. Come on, Walshy. You know better than that. No, he's a, he's a cool kid. I love him. Like... He's literally one of the coolest players you'll ever meet. I mean, he was actually one of the only people to give me a chance early on in my career. Like, when everyone else was all closed-minded and kind of bitter about all that double-shot stuff I was doing. Anyway, so, uh, we still have top red control, and we're just basically letting them spawn on the bottom and, uh, make their way up to us where they... where we have the upper hand. But since now, it's, uh, like a 40-20 game. Even if we just kept trading kills with them, the numbers are overwhelmingly in our favor. So now it's we just gotta seal the deal. Yeah, my boy 99 out pistoling Ogre One. Even at such a disadvantage, he just wasn't having any of it and decided to five shot him. So right here, we're uh, we're still just trading kills to close the game up. And it looks like uh, Knight will have the final kill. Thanks for watching. Um, if you liked anything you saw, make sure you take about 10 seconds and uh, leave me some feedback. Thanks, guys.